Good morning, YouTube fam, or good afternoon if you don't work third shift. I uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's going on in the seedlings. As you can see, we are finally getting lots of action. Those are the asparagus beans. Those right there are the baby bubba hybrid okra. So they're container friendly and they only get so big. But they actually have gorgeous flowers on them. If you check back in my other videos, you'll see the, um, the envelope for those with the full plant on them. Or you can just wait and see what they look like when they're all finished growing. Um, cucumbers went crazy. Those are the lemon cucumbers. Obviously, they cannot stay in these red solo cups very long. Um, and I will use every seedling. I don't thin out. I separate. Um, because why throw away food? Our corn is popping up pretty nicely now. These are all tomatoes. I don't think it's been warm enough the past few days for them to pop their little heads out, but we do have a few. Right in there. Those are the big pink hybrids. I'm really excited for those because pink is my favorite color. Um, these are tomillos, purple tomillos. That'll be a first for me. Grew a lot of tomatoes last year, but no tomillos. But the rest in there are tomatoes, and they're not doing a whole lot yet. More cucumbers. These are the Green Dragon Hybrid, the Bush Champion. And they're doing really well. Over here are our straight eight cukes that we planted last year. We got a harvest of at least 50 pounds. We were passing them out to co-workers, neighbors, family, friends. Everybody loved them. They had a fantastic taste. And they're from the Dollar Tree. Four for a buck. More corn back there. Just wanted to show you this is one of the mystery plants I've been showing you guys. I use the plant net app and it says it's a balsam. I don't think that's the case. I planted all kinds of wildflower seeds and I believe that's what this is going to be. But as you can see, it's got flowers started on it. So if anybody knows what that is, please let me know. We got our squashes and cantaloupes and melons and beans all looking really good. All have perked up. Except for that little guy. Chamomile. These weird flowers. I believe they're flowers. That's my lemon balm from last season. They survived all winter long in this greenhouse. Never died. And look at how big and healthy that plant is. It's my turn. Uh, yeah, not turn up. Those are radishes. My green onions. These are planted from seed. I also have some inside that are store bought that we planted, and we eat off of them quite frequently when we're making dishes. This mint actually came, Chris's wood is on it. That's what happens when you're working in the greenhouse. It happens. This mint actually came from a plant that I bought last year and it went to seed in here. And I found this guy in the bed when I was planting the radishes. My onions are popping up like crazy. They're taking pretty well. I'm hoping this bucket's big enough. The plants that I um, potted up the other day with you guys. This one is the one that didn't have the roots and you can see they definitely prefer water to propagate. It's looking a little limp, but these are the guys that had roots. 
and it's looking pretty good. My grape bushes, the forever beets. <laughs> I say they're forever beets because they've been in here forever and they just grew all funky. These are the other guys that we planted up the other day together. They're not looking too hot. It might be a little too sunny in the greenhouse for them. My lavender from last year. Starting to get flower buds on it. It's just a little guy right now, but it will grow. It's the Mary Washington asparagus. This is its second year, so one more year and we can start harvesting spears. There's another little shoot coming up down there. The rosemary from last year. Big giant bush now. Those are tigerids and all kinds of pretty bulbs in that one there. That's just an experiment to see if they'll make it in a pot. My brand new rosemary. Bonnie plants are good. I like them. My dill is starting to go to flower. This is the fourth generation. When it goes to seed, we just sprinkle it back into the into the bucket and create more dill. The infamous cilantro growing in the greenhouse. More flowers. More corn. Mint from seed. Cold stratification works beautifully and it doesn't take months. It only takes, well, for mint and lavender, for me, it took three weeks. Our oregano. More flowers. Kohlrabi. And can't really see it over the kohlrabi right now, but Swiss chard as well. We got lettuces and cabbages in here. My trash plant. It's getting some green back into it. And guys, check out how much these peppers grew in just a few days. They actually have a stem. I can't believe it. Those are the carnival blend. Chris and his uh, 50 ounce shake over here. So more cucumbers and look at those tomatoes. Those are the ones we started about three, four weeks ago. That's another big pink right there. I believe both of those are. And I think that is the chocolate cherry tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. More of those crazy flowers up in here. And look at this lavender from last year. Going nuts. Actually got a little bit of purple on that one. I mean, if you shake that, it definitely has that wonderful lavender smell. So our lettuce is growing back. I'm actually gonna be harvesting the top leaves for, um, burgers tonight but as you can see everything is still very green and getting tall just want to say hi to all of the new family members please welcome them make them feel loved um, they actually most of them came over from our Google news he love bombed us last night we are very appreciative of Adam and Dex and mods for that they are wonderful people and they are actually looking to take care of us little guys. So check out Marfugal News tonight and I'm sure you'll hear us cosmic cultivators being mentioned. Thanks again, Adam. And make sure you wish him a happy birthday. Today is his birthday. Yes. I'm going to start making some noise. All right. Well, you guys have a wonderful day. Peace, love, and happiness. Talk to you again soon.